am I crazy, not in general, but crazy for wanting to say and believing that Michigan's the number one team in the country? Yeah, you, you certainly can make that argument. Um, I, I'm I'm kind of stuck on Georgia because uh, I I don't think they've really done anything to to lose that. And and I think this could, you know, we'll, we'll get we'll get into the whole committee thing here in about two weeks. Let them make the choice because it won't be ours any longer. Uh, but but I think right. I, I think I think it's a fair argument. Uh, I mean, I whether you like them or not, and I don't know many people that do. Uh, and, and they're fewer by the day. Uh, they they are the most impressive team in the country this year. Yeah, and it's not. Look, I'm not taking anything away from Georgia. They've won 24 in a row. Like their resume speaks for themselves, back to back national championships. But if I'm doing it right here, right now, yeah. Sunday, October 22nd, based on what I've seen, um, I. I'd be hard pressed not to to favor Michigan in any game on a neutral site. And you you, you have to start thinking if you know with the metrics of this committee, unless they use sign stealing as a deterrent, uh, they very well may make uh, Michigan number one. By the way, it doesn't matter considering uh, last year Tennessee was the number one team going in, and uh, the first year was Mississippi State. The first poll is about as irrelevant as the first round leader at Augusta. That's exactly right. Like you look at it and you're like, oh, hey, that's a good story. And then Friday morning they tee off. And you're like, that guy's no longer in the lead. Great <laughs> golf. Paul, I'm proud of you. Great golf analogy. Give me something I can't feel.